morning welcome to my vlog come on let's join me in this ride destination the waters of Danbury come on let's go let's drive Lower Kohanza Reservoir, one of the uh, supplementary water supplier of Danbury during uh, dry periods. Good morning, we're just driving around Danbury this morning. We're visiting the waters of Danbury. Danbury doesn't have any salt uh, waters in the area. They're all fresh water and it only comprises 2% of the, uh, the area of Danbury. The rest are uh, all land. So let's enjoy the uh, drive and let's continue uh, driving. We are heading towards uh, the upper uh, part of Kohanza Reservoir. The area is all residential and most are privately owned. Can find it. We're heading uh, towards East Lake Road. We're approaching the uh, reservoir now. This reservoir is another small body of fresh water source of Danbury, especially during the dry season. Let's go drive to the north of Danbury and see one of the city's main reservoirs, the Marjorie. Beyond those fans is the Marjorie Reservoir. Candlewood uh, Lake, Danbury side of the uh, lake. We are now at Candlewood Lake, Danbury side. This is the southern part of Candlewood Lake. Come on, let's check it out. This is Candlewood Lake Town Park. This 11-acre uh, park has a beach front for swimming and relaxing, and there are benches, playground, picnic tables, and a concession stand. And it's very, very popular tourist destination, especially, especially during the summer months. Danbury, Connecticut. This is the southern part of the lake. Man-made lake. The biggest in Connecticut. As previously mentioned, Candlewood Lake is a man-made lake. Its history date back in the 1920s when Connecticut Light and Power created the lake to produce electricity in the area. It becomes uh, like a reservoir because it stores the water then when the demand is high for power consumption then the company releases the water down into a turbine producing electricity in the process. 
come summertime, tons of visitors enjoy the park. Sunbathing, swimming, boating, fishing, just having a good time. We are in Hatters Park right now. The park located in East Haystown Road near uh, the Danbury Candlewood Park has a bowling alley, recreational building, a picnic pavilion, three softball fields, a pond, a banquet hall, and a playground. Lake Wakawana, a hidden gem in a small neighborhood here in Danbury. Very nice. We are driving to Lake Kenosha now. It's in the west uh, part of Danbury. Lake Kenosha is one of the small body of waters in Danbury and it's considered a secondary source of fresh water during dry periods. Aside from the lake, it has a park with playground, ball fields, open grass areas, and a boat launch on the beach. You can also go fishing here. Lake Kenosha, Danbury, Connecticut. During the summer, this place can be very busy with visitors playing in the ground, fishing. I guess you cannot bring your boat here because right in here it says boats are prohibited. Lake Kenosha behind me. Lake Kenosha field, soccer, baseball are being played here during the summertime. We are in Lake Kenosha right now. What can we find? Lake Kenosha is welcoming you. It's a nice recreational resource of the uh, city of Danbury. You can fish your round, bring your canoe, your kayak, sail windsurf, or even paddleboard and just enjoy the water. During the summer, you can go picnicking, you can go tan sunning on the beach, barbecue, some bird watching activities, or you can just relax in this place. Very, very nice place to visit during the summer. And not, not only during the summer, you can come in anytime in this place. 
just like what I'm doing now. There's not a lot of people. There are only probably five or six in the area. So we have uh, the whole place. Our last stop is Westlake Reservoir in Middle River Road. Come on, let's drive there. Hey guys, check the scenery behind me. That's Westlake Reservoir. So, showing you the waters of Danbury is my way to remind you how, water, how important water is in our lives. We need to be mindful of how we use and how we treat it. Don't waste it. Take good care of it. We have to protect it from vandals and from trespassers. And we should not trash it. We should not pollute it. We should properly dispose all the waste and garbage in our house and throw it in the right place so that it will not end up in our waters. So again, just an FYI, as I've mentioned uh, earlier, there might be multiple secondary sources of fresh water in Danbury, yet there are only two main reservoirs that supply the city. West Lake and Mergery and both rely from the rain and the snow that fall all year round and also from what I have read this, this is another FYI there are two water treatment plants nearby the reservoirs and the city usually routinely check them for germs and uh, contaminants so I also read that uh, the daily consumption of water in the Danbury area is around 7 million gallons that's 7 million gallons per day and so it seemed like a lot of water but don't worry approximately 3 billion of water is in storage right now and uh, if we combined all the Danbury water sources so that's approximately 400 days worth of water to be used but we st even though we have a lot of water in the area that is reserved we still need to be responsible and wise on its usage yes we use it for drinking washing and uh, cleaning watering our plants and lawns for emergencies during fire uh, we need water so for sure we need water to survive so we have to protect it we have to take care of it so let's all work together in making our water supply clean our ponds our reservoirs our lakes we have to protect them so that we will always have clean and potable water. Our drive around Danbury has just finished. I hope you had a good time. And if you haven't subscribed, why don't you do it now? Subscribe and like my channel. And see you again in my next vlog. Bye-bye.